All right, here we go. This is the San Francisco 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. As always, thank you so much for hanging out here with us on today's show. And on the docket for the show today, in the lead-up to training camp for the Niners at the end of July, could more moves be coming before camp? Let's set the foundation here. San Francisco has $32.7 million in cap space. That is top 10 in the National Football League, and there are multiple contract extension candidates on their roster, and there are external free agents who the Niners could bring in to fortify this roster. Before we take a look at all of that, we're having an epic June sub-battle between two monster powerhouse channels under the Chat Sports umbrella, the Las Vegas Raiders Report, the 49ers Report, the Raiders Report closing in on 200,000 subscribers, the 49ers Report sitting pretty at 133 subscribers, 133,000 I should say. This month, the Raiders Report has picked up 220 new subscribers. We are 60 behind that number, but we can change that with this video alone. Hit that sub button for a year-round Niners coverage, daily Niners shows, which are informative, insightful, entertaining, and involve you, the faithful. And it's a great week to be a Niner fan. It's always a bad week to be a Raider fan because they're a perennial awful football team, but also Christian McCaffrey named as the cover athlete of Madden 25. And look at the team in the background that was edited onto the background by EA Sports. It's the Las Vegas Raiders trying to catch Christian McCaffrey as he just pulls off a splash play in route to go into the end zone. Hit that sub button. Let's beat the Raiders report. All right. Niners extension candidates, players that San Francisco could give a contract extension out to in the lead up to training camp and after training camp. Brandon Ayuk, the most obvious one. More on him in a moment. Linebacker Fred Warner, best off-ball linebacker in the game. Charverius Ward, a second-team All-Pro last year. Diamador Lenore, I think, is on the cusp of becoming a Pro Bowl player in this league. Aaron Banks has had some really good moments as the left guard for San Francisco. Him and Trent Williams have been a great pairing on the left side of that offensive line. Talano Hufonga two years ago was an all-pro. Dre Greenlaw, the enforcer, one of the more fun players to watch at the linebacker spot in the NFL because of the speed and physicality in which he plays with. Trent Williams still, at 35 years old, the best left tackle in the game. And then George Kittle last year was the best tight end in the NFL. So you go through that list of Niners extension candidates. You think about the fact that the 49ers are set up nicely right now, top 10 in the NFL with cap space, and you take deep dives on all of these individual players. We start off with Trent Williams here. What's interesting is that just like the Niners were able to do with the Christian McCaffrey contract extension, if San Francisco were to give Trent Williams a new deal, they would actually save money and create cap space. According to Over the Cap, the Niners would save $15.1 million in 2024. They'd save $17 million in 2025, $24.8 million in 2026. And when Trent Williams is 39 years old, certainly older, but we know that offensive tackles can stay in the league for a while, the 49ers would save $42.2 million. And then there's George Kittle. George Kittle could be seeking a contract extension. And in turn, the Niners would be able to save some money there. Jeremy Fowler, ESPN with this report earlier this week on the heels of reporting that Trent Williams could be seeking a new contract. Fowler saying, you've got George Kittle. This is not a pressing need, but I was told this is a player who might need a new contract eventually or this offseason because he's got two years left had he not had the core muscle surgery. So he is technically coming back from an injury, but he was the only tight end who had 1,000 yards receiving last year. Still a big part of what they do, so they might have to pay him. A lot of major decisions coming for San Francisco. Player number three here, again, the most obvious, is Brandon Ayuk. Set to make $14.1 million on his fifth-year option. The wide receiver market this offseason has exploded on numerous occasions. And in my opinion, the price tag has continued to go up. If the Niners signed him to a new deal earlier this offseason, I think they could have had him at $25 million. I think now it's up to $28 to $30 million. And I, you could play on the final year of his deal, but if that happens... Would there be some awkward locker room drama with the player who a lot of people respect? A player who you drafted, who you've developed to be an all-pro in this league, who's deserving of a new deal? Next up, 
Maybe the most deserving player on this list is Fred Warner. His contract voids in 2027, and with an extension, San Francisco could save 11.4, 13.2, and $13.2 million over the next three years. And you're talking about the best off-ball coverage linebacker in the NFL, the best linebacker of this current generation, a team captain, and also a guy who's consistently been available and durable. He's missed one game over the last six years. Diamandur Lenore, been an absolute steal as a former fifth-round pick. He's entering the final year of his rookie contract, and he's only given up a handful of touchdowns since coming into the league. One database has it at three. Pro Football Focus has it at four. Either way, four or fewer touchdowns given up in coverage for Diamador Lenore in three years in the NFL. He can play inside, outside. Has been a great success late-round story for the Niners. Aaron Banks. We've seen stretches of dominant play for the former second-round pick out of Notre Dame at left guard. He's also entering the final year of his deal. For a high-level starter along the offensive line, he's been a bargain. Why? He'll continue to be a bargain, too. Why? He accounts for 1.28% of the Niners' 2024 salary cap. If he wants to land a new deal, I think the issue with Aaron Banks is just consistency for the former second-rounder. Him and Trent Williams have given up one sack since Aaron Banks became a full-time starter a couple of years ago. Talano Hufanga, long history of being a successful starter in this league because the year that he was, he was a first-team All-Pro back in 2022. Now, he is coming off a torn ACL, so to give this player a contract extension this offseason in the lead-up to the regular season, there is a risk there. And then there are some position questions for Hufanga. What's the usage? Can you play him as a deep safety? Is he just a box safety? Do you have to continue to find ways to utilize him so that he's not a liability in coverage? Also, the price point going to be a little bit interesting, too, to see what he could demand or what he asks for. Dre Greenlaw, a restructure of his contract would save the Niners $4.7 million. An extension would save five and a half. May have gotten a huge deal if it wasn't for him tearing his Achilles in the Super Bowl, which I thought changed the game in Super Bowl 58 against Kansas City back in February. And I just don't think that you give Dre Greenlaw an extension right now. You see if he can come back, and if he does come back, how healthy he could be. We're only getting ramped up on today's show. First, this is today's poll question. Which Niners player will get paid next? Brennan Ayuk has looked at Christian McCaffrey getting paid before him, for instance. Is it Ayuk? Is it somebody else? Drop me a name down below in the comment section. Before we continue to move forward on the program here today, I want to tell you about this deal thanks to our friends at Fanatics. You get two Niners shirts for just $45. So a combo pack at chatsports.com slash 49 combo. You can rep the Niners, look good this summer, look good year round. Why? Because you're rocking the scarlet, red, and gold. Chatsports.com slash 49 combo. We'll put that link attached to the pinned comment and in the show notes of today's video. Now, what if the 49ers, on top of maybe handing out another contract extension, want to make an external move in NFL free agency. There are, of course, avenues in which the Niners could pull off a trade, but even easier, what players could the Niners show interest in or sign in NFL free agency? Here are my top available free agent targets for the positions of need on this Niners roster. Justin Simmons is definitely the best overall free agent left, four-time All-Pro, Leads the NFL in interceptions since entering the league in 2016. A team captain who's played in very difficult defenses. I haven't seen a decline in his play. He's a dog. He's a ball hawk. He's a center field safety who can make plays on the football, but just as easily make plays against the run. Very sure tackler. I do think San Francisco is a little bit light at the safety spot, especially with Hufanga coming off that torn ACL. Justin Simmons, my favorite player left in free agency. David Bakhtiari has been a multi-time All-Pro in this league, and before he got hurt and then has continued to stay injured after injuring his knee in practice a couple of years ago, this is an interesting player because we've seen him play at a very elite level. He plays offensive tackle, primarily left tackle, 
The Niners are good there with Trent Williams, but at right tackle, they have huge question marks with Colton McKivitz. Do you give a player like that a flyer to see if he can stay healthy, if he can play, and if he can play a different position on the other side of the line of scrimmage? Donovan Smith, another offensive tackle with a lot of experience in this league. Jason Peters still trying to play well into his 40s. He is a future Hall of Famer who is tremendous for the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles. Dalvin Cook, I think running back depth, is the spot where the Niners are okay, but if an injury does happen, as Elijah Mitchell has a troubled injury history, do you go the way of a veteran? Kareem Hunt, dual threat running back out of the backfield who can run it and catch it. And then you have a couple of defensive linemen here. Emmanuel Ogbaz had good production as far as sacks go. Yannick Ngakwe consistently before last year when he had an injury shortened season. He's put up. Eight-plus sacks every single year has been in the NFL outside of 2023. Carl Lawson, toughness, physicality to his game. And Calais Campbell, if you're looking for a vet who's massive at 6'8", very well accomplished in this league, he could be a Hall of Famer. Member of the 2010s All-Decade team, he gives you depth at that defensive tackle spot. So those are potential moves that the 49ers could make in the lead-up to training camp contract extension candidates, and then the top available free agents left. Which free agent specifically should the Niners sign? Let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching today's show, and don't forget to subscribe.